compared to what's happening in the next 30 years, I think the last 30 years will look, will pale in comparison. So people I'm speaking to say that it's all about to happen. Yeah? Um, and when I say that, it's technology changing industries um, from health to agriculture to cars to everything. And uh, that's a brave new world. I mean, if you say to people, what will the world look like in 10 years time, 20 years time, no idea. New immigrant to a new country, <coughs> you look around, see what it means, say, to be Indian. I came and lived here. Immigrants into a new time, there is no instruction manual, there's no handbook. You know, do this for five years and you'll be good. That's a brave new world. And that requires leadership. You know, it requires people who have a vision and uh, it requires people who are prepared to take risks and to be brave and to be bold and audacious and have courage. That's what's needed, you know. And if you play it safe, it's, I don't think it's an option, especially in technology. You just get left behind. I did the rebranding for QBE, which is a, the 10th biggest company in Australia. It's an insurance company. They're global. They're in 50 countries around the world. And one of the things we did, one of the small communication things was we created a CEO blog where the CEO can now communicate with every single employee. So I got 16,000 people who work for them. But then the other thing he does is, okay, is every, so when he goes and visits, say, Chile, you know, because it's one of the countries, when he's in there for three days, he will take an hour and spend one hour and randomly they'll pick 10 people from across the business to spend an hour with the CEO. So therefore you've got the high tech and the high touch. You've got the high tech technology driving his blog, but you've got this, this style where they're putting in his diary time for him to physically meet people on the ground face to face. So I very much like the idea of high tech and high touch. Some companies' technology is something that sits in the background quite a bit. Others' technology is much more in the foreground because it is more of a technology company. But I think technology is, my view is, is actually creating the future. It is an enabler of, you know, technology, it, technology is fundamentally allowing ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Steve Jobs said that beautifully where he said, um, he said he read a book when he was a kid and it was about human, human ability and effort um, in terms of, uh, you know, in, in terms of running and what people could do and how efficient they were in terms of their body compared to other animals, yeah? And human beings actually did quite averagely. And then somebody did the same test on a bicycle. And suddenly, human beings were way above average out of any species. And he says the computer's the same. The computer is the bicycle of the mind, and it allows people who would otherwise be quite ordinary to do extraordinary and amazing things. And it's not just the computer, it's technology as well. A company might have a vision and a mission and put out a plan, unless the people step up, own it, take it on and do it, it's not going to happen. So, so then we just, well, that's, that's the case, then how many people are actually engaged? You know, well, 9% of Indians are engaged at work, according to the latest Gallup study, which is a pretty low number. You know, 31% are actively disengaged. So clearly, you know, if people make it happen, you're not, you know, getting the best outcome here. Yeah? So I'll need to engage people, switch on their lights, excite them. Indian company, yeah, true of any company. All human beings, I believe, have, have this fundamental, nobody wants to turn up to work and be disengaged and switched off. It's the role of companies to create that meaning and to give them that. It's not that hard, you know, like switch on their lights. One of the ways to do it is, is, is you always begin, it's always a destination. What does your brand and your company contribute and how does it contribute to people's lives? So I think that's, that's the next thing. And people tend to play it really conservatively and they go very safe and, okay, well, let's just be sensible here. We'll... And then the last one was leading from the front. You know, because it's, it's, it's about, and everyone's a leader in a sense. But obviously, digital marketing, social media, and all that has changed the communications landscape massively, yeah? I mean, one of the things is that the, the consumer of your message, whoever it is is getting your message, whether it's a staff or it's a customer, can also produce a message. You gotta watch what you say. You can't just say stuff and put it out there and, and not back it up, you know? There's a massive transparency thing going on. So when you do internal communications and you communicate a message to your people who live and work at your company every day and you say stuff, you know, oh, we're a great company, we care about this. They know if you do and if you don't, better than anyone. And if you don't, you're stuffed. You've got to be a lot more honest and transparent in your communications uh, because it's not just one way, it's two ways, it's multi-ways. You know, and, and, and even when I get to the old, you know, marketing advertising space and 
and, and a lot of the effort goes into digital marketing and social media. And, but if you're building a brand, you know, let's say that at the core and the heart of what every business is doing is you're building a brand. What, what's your brand? You know, what, let's get back to basics here. You know, what is your promise? You know, what is your brand idea? You know, what do you stand for? And then communicate that across everything you do. And often that's sort of lost, you know, and I think a lot of that thinking is missing. Same with internal communication. When I do workshops and things around branding, I basically bring a lot of young people who are very into technology back to branding 101 basics. <laughs>